Hey there, Mage Knight fans. I'm Bammer. I'm Nishi. And we're here to talk to you today about Aretha's skills. Ooh. Now, Aretha's very interesting because my brother loves Aretha, but she's my least favorite character. Same. So let's go through her skills and figure out what you think. Number nine. Number nine is Invocation. Uh, it's terrible. I hate it. I don't even know how it works. If you get it, throw it away, move on. Very good. Number eight, polarization. I like skills that actually give me something added to it. This only gives you the opportunity to change the color of the mana. So for me, that's no good. All right, since we're talking about a spellcaster here, I'm going to pull out my wand. Coming in number seven, burning power. Siege, fire, one. The problem I have with this is there's not many siege options available out there in the advanced actions or the spells. So for the most part, 95% of the time, it's just going to be an attack one. Eh, not doing it for me. Number six, Dark Negotiator. The solid influence three at the nighttime, two during the daytime. It's an even card, number six. That's decent. All right, number five. Now we're getting to the core of Aretha. Power of Pain. You get a wound, hey, hey, no problem. Put it sideways for two of anything. The, if you're going to get this, I really like getting it early on. That way you can use, get two or three wounds in your deck. You can use it for multiple days. And then just always remember, heal it before the game is done. Love that card. Number yeah. four, Dark Paths. Movement, movement, movement. We always want to take those attack cards. We always want to take those range. We need to be able to move. And it's a nice staple in her deck. That's why it's number four. All right, the wand is going down. The sword's coming back out for number three, Hot Swordsmanship. Very similar to Tovax's card. Attack two. It could be regular. It could be fire. It's very versatile. You'll use it all the time. But Aretha is such a powerful character. Despite what this bozo says, it only makes number three for her. Number two is motivation. We talking about this with solo play, so you're guaranteed to get the red mana with this. Whereas if you're playing competitive, you have to be losing, which is usually what you're doing. Mm -hmm. So you get the two extra cards before a big battle, a guaranteed red mana, which is perfect for Aretha. So it's number two. What's number one? Number one is, of course, back to the wand, Dark Fire Magic. Now you get a red or a black mana and the red crystal. What I love so much about this is sometimes you're playing up for that big battle at the end, the big city battle, and you want to make sure that you have that guaranteed red and black so you can plan for it. Get a great red spell, then on the final night when you're doing that huge battle at the end, guaranteed you can power up the bottom half of it, and that is incredible, and that skill will be why you defeat your city. So, what do you think? Do you like our order or not? Do you like Aretha or not? Tell us what you think. Type in the comments, let us know, and we'll see you again soon. See ya.